everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jeanette and on this channel my dad and I share our ideas for plant-based foods as well as talk about our experiences with how a plant-based diet changed our health. And as a registered nurse I occasionally like to share wellness and well-being tips with you. But today we're going to be doing a quick what I eat in a day video. And I like doing these not because I'm hoping that you will eat like me but I'm hoping to give you practical plant-based meal ideas. And along with these, I try to give you ideas on modifications because everybody does a plant-based diet differently and for different reasons. So I will try to throw out some ideas on how you can modify what I'm eating uh, to suit your needs. But what I ask of you is if you have ideas on how to alter these meals in different ways for different plant-based ways of eating, please leave a comment down below. So we're gonna get started with breakfast here in just a second. And normally what I have almost every day is oatmeal. Sometimes I'll do whole grain cereal like a Rips Big Bowl blend that I make. Uh, and occasionally I'll do waffles or pancakes or something along those lines. But normally I have oatmeal just because I like it. And the last couple of months I've been eating it kind of the same way because I like it. And that is just my oats, a dash of cinnamon, ground flax seed, and then I will add like a handful of wild blueberries to it after it's cooked. And the blueberries help to cool it down and make it a little bit creamy. So it reminds me a little bit of a dessert type dish, but it's not overly sweet. And then I will sometimes add a splash of soy milk if it's a little on the thick side and that thins it out a little bit. But I ran out of all of my blueberries two days ago, so I need to make this a different way. And gosh, you know, I wish somebody would have written a cookbook with oatmeal ideas. Oh wait, somebody did, I did. My dad and I did a cookbook, and in here you'll find not just recipes, but templates on how to fashion your own meals. And I got very well acquainted, let me tell you, with oats when I did this book. I have a whole section in here on oatmeal, granola, and uh, overnight oats and there's one page in particular here this one here it's one of my favorites I have a whole bunch of different ideas for how to construct a bowl of oatmeal with totally different flavors so I think today what I'm going to be doing is the apple crisp and what I have in here is apple apple pie spice apple butter or apple sauce and walnuts or pecans as suggestions but these again are just suggestions and you can make this any number of ways. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do here today and it's gonna be delicious. So what I started on the stove first were my veggies. These are frozen veggies and it's a blend of cauliflower, broccoli, yellow squash, and zucchini. So I threw that in a steamer pot and now that's done. So I'm gonna to get to work on my oatmeal, which only takes a few minutes. So the first thing I like to use is my oats, obviously, and my serving's about uh, just shy of a half a cup. Yours might be different. And then I like to add a tablespoon of ground flax seed. And I also add a dash of ground cinnamon just to taste. But I'm going to go a little bit lighter than normal because I'm going to be using apple butter in this. And then I'm just going to add water to cover this. I'm using about a cup of water. Then I'm going to just cook it over the stovetop here. Okay, while the oats are finishing cooking, I'm gonna just show you what I'm using here. I'm using quick cooking oats, and I tend to gravitate towards these only because, well, number one, they cook the fastest, and number two, I prefer the texture of these over rolled or steel cut. Now, I do like the other kinds of oats. I will make them on occasion. If you are struggling to lose the last five, 10, 15 pounds, maybe you wanna try sticking with rolled or steel cut oats because they are less processed. These are more processed and that's why they cook faster. Um, but again, it's just a personal preference. And I'm also going to naturally sweeten this with some apple butter, just like a tablespoon is all I need because it's, it's quite sweet. Um, this is the one that I use. It's just the brand that I found at my store. Sometimes I make my own in the fall when we have a lot of apples available. And then Wegmans I found carries these little tiny organic gala apples. They fit right in the palm of your hand. I love these for snacks. Sometimes I will cut one up and put it on my oatmeal. I might do that today actually because we, we did do the gym this morning and I'm pretty hungry so I might, I might do that but we'll see. And then I tend to add a dash of cinnamon but you could use a pinch of cardamom, apple pie spice, pumpkin pie spice, anything like that. And I am going to add a tablespoon of nuts and seeds and today 
I'm going to use uh, a little bit of pumpkin seeds, and these are actually a local product. They're made in the Finger Lakes, and I'm sandwiched in between the Finger Lakes and the Adirondack Mountains, so I kind of get the best of both worlds here, but it's a local product, and it is really good. They're brined heirloom pumpkin seeds. Love them. And then I'm also going to do a little bit of chopped walnuts. Now, a note on nuts and seeds. If you are trying to lose the last 5, 10, 15, even maybe 20 pounds, and you're doing fully, you know, maybe starch solution type thing, you might want to avoid the nuts and seeds if it's hindering your weight loss. I do include some of these because we know that nuts and seeds are nutritious and I like to get the omega-3 fatty acids and the walnuts are definitely a good source of that. Plus the flax seed is another source of omega-3 fatty acids. I always make sure I get those into my diet. I opted for no apple because I remember that I ate this yesterday and I was pretty full after with the vegetables. But I worked out today, like I said, and I've already overlapped my exercise ring for the day and it's only nine o'clock. So if I'm still hungry, I'll, I'll have something else to eat. I'll grab that apple or something else. Uh, you could leave out the apple butter and instead, if you want to add an apple flavor, you could do some natural apple sauce in here. A drizzle of maple syrup would be delicious. You could change the nut and seed mixture. Chopped pecans would be great on here. Um, you could do a number of different things to dress that up. And then I'm back in the habit of doing vegetables at breakfast. And I just did a little garlic salt on these because I like my savory in the morning. It's a good habit to get into to have vegetables with every meal because I think overall people don't eat enough fruits and vegetables here <laughs> where we live. But it's also a way to dilute your calorie density of your meals. So if you're trying to lose weight, non-starchy vegetables can really be your secret weapon to bulk up the volume of your food without really adding a whole lot of calories. And then you're getting the benefits of the vegetables as well. All right, I'm going to go eat breakfast. And like I said, if I need something else, I will be back to see you for that. Otherwise, I will see you for snack or lunch. One last quick note here before I have breakfast. The beautiful pottery that you guys see in my videos and in my cookbook comes from Red Barn Pottery in Vermont. And I just love the style of this pottery. It's so rustic. And I love the earthy colors that she uses with the glazes. So I will go ahead and put a link to her Etsy shop in the description box down below. But I have several pieces of this and I absolutely love it. So I like to mention it. Okay, you can probably hear the sizzling in the background. It's lunchtime, so what I'm doing is making some tempeh and I've just got a few slices in my skillet here. It's a nonstick skillet and I'm not using any oil obviously or anything to fry it. If I have to, I'll add a splash of water, but we'll see how it does here in just a minute. I also made the other day some spaghetti squash. So I'm gonna have a little bit of that. And spaghetti squash is really low in calories. It's gonna be too low in calories for my lunch. I have a little bit of mashed potatoes left. So what I do is I make my mashed potatoes with a splash of soy milk. You could use any plant milk. And then I put garlic, salt, uh, dill, chives, and parsley in here. Mash it all up and when it's nice and cool I put it in my containers and what I do is I kind of mash it down into a container and it will come out as one piece. Yesterday I air fried pieces of this and today I'm going to slice it up and I'm going to try to pan sear it and see what happens. Um, and then I have some vegetables here. Those are sauteed mushrooms, spinach, and garlic. So I'm going to see what kind of lunch I can come up with with these. All right, so my tempeh slices are done and they turned out good. I just tried one. It's really tasty. I probably should have cooked a few more up. And what I'm trying to do over here is pan sear or warm through my little mashed potato slices. Yesterday I air fried them, but they took like 20 minutes, so I don't want to wait that long. And yeah, I don't, I don't know if this is going to work. It's probably not going to work, but trying it anyways. And then I'll just 
heat up my squash and mushrooms. Is this gonna be the best lunch I've ever made? Probably not, but I'm just taking whatever I kind of have left, you know, languishing in the fridge and throwing it into a bowl and seeing what I come up with. So this is what I ended up with and it actually looks quite good. So the mashed potato slices didn't do very well in the skillet. So what I did was I just kind of stirred them around. They got browned in some spots, they got heated through, that's all I needed. And I topped it with some of my homemade cheese sauce. The other night we did pasta night, so I sauteed some chopped mushrooms, frozen spinach, and minced garlic in a skillet and let it cook down until it was done. Really, really simple and yummy. So I had a bunch left over of that. And this is my spaghetti squash that I cooked the other day. This is tempeh. And I marinated this over the last couple of days in Bragg's liquid aminos, a little bit of maple syrup, liquid smoke, and nutritional yeast. And I think I put some black pepper in there. So it kind of smells and tastes, you know, a little bacony, which is really good. And then I put a dollop of oil-free hummus in here. So this is lunch. This is what ended up <laughs> manifesting from all that stuff I was doing. So I'm going to go eat, probably see you back either for snack or dinner. All right, it's that time of the day where I make my matcha latte. And I have a video on how I make my matcha tea. And I'll put a little card up here somewhere for you guys if you want to watch that video. Um, I tend to drink matcha uh, like three times a week or so. I probably should drink it more often, but it is a pricey, a pricey product. So I tend to uh, just do a few times a week and really savor it. All right, so I'm gonna do this, gonna finish up some work and then I'll see you guys back in a little bit. Okay, we're fixing dinner and it's really nice outside. So Jim decided to grill. So he is making turkey burgers for himself and I made some veggie burgers. He also picked up a package of Beyond Burgers because he said, why don't you show people another option for a plant-based or vegan burger? And he said that we can show everybody how well they grill up. So he's out there cooking all of that right now. We're gonna have salad and tater tots on the side. So I will show you everything in just a minute. And also in my cookbook, there is a template for veggie burgers. And the one I made tonight, I kind of loosely fashioned off of one of the recipes in there. Oh my gosh, Jim just brought the Beyond Burgers out. He set them down and I said, oh, are those the turkey burgers? Cause they look freaky real. So I'm gonna show you what these look like. Um, they smell pretty good. He said the only complaint he had was they did stick to the grill a little bit. So there are my veggie burgers and they really stuck to the grill. I have to say this, I threw this one together really fast and it was a little, the, the mixture was a little on the wet side, I have to admit. And I didn't really have the whole grain breadcrumbs and stuff that I normally use in it. So it's got rice and quinoa and the mixture was a tad bit too wet and I had a feeling this was going to happen, but you know what? They still look delicious. They smell amazing. And we're going to The key thing is it had nothing to do with the grilling. The grilling was fantastic. The grill master was fantastic. Okay, so I am having some salad. And then I'm having one of my veggie burgers on a bun. I'm going to try a little bit of the Beyond Burger. Just some mustard and ketchup on that. And then we found these Alexia Tater Tots at Wegmans. And they're really tasty. Um, so this is dinner tonight and then Jim is having his burgers and that's it. I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. So I realized I forgot to shoot the outro to this video the other night. Things just kind of got a little crazy. It was time to play with Raiden and then we were really tired. Uh, so it's a couple days later. It's a beautiful day and I'm actually heading over to my dad's right now to shoot a Gary's Kitchen video. Uh, but I just wanted to say thank you for watching this video and I hope it gave you some ideas on some things you could make for your meals during the day that are plant-based. And I don't do everything perfectly. My way of eating is going to differ from other people's and I, that's why I ask for your ideas in the comments on how you might do things a little bit differently. Some people want to increase the calories. Some people want to eat lower in fat. Some people are following something more for uh, treatment of heart disease. So things are, are going to vary for people depending on your needs. And for me personally, I just, I have found a way that works for me. You will find the way that works for you, but that's why I like us to share ideas in the comments. So please leave one if you have any ideas or just say hello because we love to we love to read your comments and hear from you guys. All right, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to be shooting now the intro for Gary's Kitchen. So I will see you guys in the next video and I hope that you have a great day.